Hey Sag, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to do a general love reading. Only take the parts that resonate with you if they do, okay? And if any of this does apply, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, all right? Yep, so let's go ahead and jump in and get to the point. Let's start with you first. You're on the left, there on the right. So you got the death card, the temperance, and the ace of cups that flow, okay? All right, so it's different groups here because I feel like some of you, this may have ended. Yeah, maybe you felt like you needed to let this person go or you didn't see a future with them anymore. And I feel like if that is the case, you're at a place of acceptance and that it was just time to move on here okay so i do see you being at peace with the situation yep now some of you with the ace of cups maybe you're single that's all about self-care self-love so you know maybe that's what your priority is these days and it's not this person these people okay and then some of you might have a new person or maybe you're open to a new person coming in a new energy okay so i feel like some of you you're done with that old situation and you're moving forward with your life here okay all right now for others of you there's a situation here where you may have felt that you needed to let them go, but some of you are starting to consider giving this a second chance if this person shows up in this connection in a better way, okay? All right, some of you, this could be a Scorpio, maybe another Sag, Libra is here, maybe a Capricorn, doesn't have to be, it could be anyone. All right, so they got the Page of Cups along with the Page of Swords that flow out. All right, so I see messages here. Some of you have heard from them. Others of you, maybe not, but they are still curious about you. They still think about you. Could be, you know, spying on you, keeping tabs or whatever the case is here, okay? All right, some of you have a child with this person or there could be an age gap here. Yep. Anyway, you got the Ten of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Three of Swords in your past position. Ten of Cups speaks about family. Yep, I see conflicts here, whether it was your family, their family, or... Maybe you and this person had a long-term relationship at some point, kids together for some of you, but I feel like you started to feel it was too hard to stay on the same page with them. Some sort of arguments, disagreements, or them irritating you, frustrating you here at some point before because of their behavior, however they were showing up in this situation, it just wasn't sitting well with some of you, okay? Some of you, it's due to a third-party influence, all right? Yep, so... They've got the uh, five of wands as well. You both have this card. So yeah, some of you, it's like you were blaming them. They were blaming you or it was just too hard to stay on the same page. It was, it was just too much going on here before. Okay. All right. But anyway, that's the five of wands, ace of pentacles and the devil. All right, so some of them have come forward with some sort of an offer, yep, or maybe they've considered doing so. This person may still have an attachment to you, okay, Sag, with this uh, double card, but some of you may see them as toxic, low vibrational, or you just don't really resonate with their energy all the time here, okay? All right, so you got the Six of Wands, King of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles in your current position. Okay, so some of you still have feelings for them, or maybe you're, you know, hoping that this can move forward in a successful way. Okay, so some of you do still care about them or have some sort of soft spot for this person. And some of you are willing to put in the effort to make this work if this person is willing to reciprocate and you feel like you can trust them. Okay, and they're, you know, coming with the right type of effort and energy in the situation, you might be willing to move this forward still. Okay, all right, so they got the three of swords, the seven of swords, and the sun card in their current position. All right, so some of you don't trust them. Yeah, maybe they walked away or went and got with somebody else. Maybe they're cheating, lying, whatever they were doing here. Again, that's why you felt irritated with the situation or maybe got mad at them at some point before because of their behavior. But I feel like this person... If you're open to it, they might be willing to, you know, make things right here, okay, with the sun card and you guys move this connection forward in a more positive way, basically, okay? All right, so you got the justice, the lovers, could be a Gemini or a Libra for some of you, along with the uh, Queen of Wands in the near future. Yep, so the justice speaks about balance and fairness, okay, whether you're the one that wants to make things right with them or you want them to make things right with you, okay? But yeah, it looks like some of you do still have some sort of feelings or desire for this person, okay? Not all of you, but some of you do, okay? Yep, so. So, yeah, it looks like you're willing to, you know, move this forward or make amends with this person if they act right, like I was saying, okay? All right, so they got the four wands, the will of fortune, and the lovers in their near future, okay? They want to come back together. Yep, they want some sort of second chance here. Maybe actually see you in person, okay, with this four wands. Some of you used to live with them or in the same neighborhood or you guys were really close at some point before, but yeah, I feel like this person... They're really hoping that things can move forward in a more positive way here, okay? With this Wheel of Fortune, there could still be uh, feelings here, sexual energy, desire, attraction, things like that, okay? Yep, so if any of this apply, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys seeing and wish you the best. Take care.